I've said before that I'm against pre-ordering, but I'd like to go into why I feel this way. Pre-ordering is not a bad thing on paper, but neither is communism. Put it into practice, and... Game developers like to have all the power, and to achieve power they need money, and it's not very subtle how far they'll go to get that money from you. From microtransactions to day one DLC, developers never seem to have any shame at all these days. So why do I hate pre-orders? Well, let's say a new game's coming out, and you've seen the trailers. You've heard about it on forums, and your friends are talking about it, and you are hyped. Back in the day, this was a really big deal. Not every game title came out with infinite amounts of copies, so pre-ordering a game was almost necessary if you actually wanted a first-hand copy. But recently, with everything going digital distribution, copies of games are not hard to replicate, and so most consumers wouldn't really feel a need to get a copy of a new game, being as how there will be an infinite amount of copies to go around. So what do game devs do about this? How do I suck more money out of my fan base? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is promise them something in return. And for a while, this was something fair. Like with collector's editions of games. You probably got a cool skin in the game, be it a character skin or a gun skin. You also got a trophy or a gold or metal disc case. Or other really cool stuff. But there are also unfair pre-orders. Ones that ask you for all your money and give you special weapons, give you special exclusives, even DLC that nobody else has access to all because you pre-ordered. Now why is this wrong, you may ask? If I just pre-order every game, then I should be fine, right? I'll have all the skins, all the trophies, and all the in-game content that should have been given to everyone. But no, this is very uncool. Developers taking things out of the game and selling it on the side to try to entice you to purchase their game is despicable. Some games have even tried pre-order bonuses where the more people that pre-ordered, the more content the final game would have. And this is the epitome of scummy. The only game I've ever pre-ordered was Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I was never offered special skins, different items, or special content that was locked away for only those who pre-ordered it. I simply had a copy that was discounted, mind you, and I could play it the day it came out. And that is all you should ever need. If you have a real fan base, you should never have to try to trick them, try to force them, or try to make them feel like they're missing out on content because you wanted 10 to 20 bucks more in your wallet. I should pre-order your game because I love you as a company. You have proven to me in the past that you deserve my money, and you give everyone, pre-order or not, every piece of content for buying the game, no matter when they buy it, day one or five years down the road. Holding games hostage is bad, and I've said that before, but holding pieces away is shady as well, and I will not support this kind of behavior. I may still purchase your game, and it won't hurt me not to have your special content, but I will not pre-order a game from a developer that drags its respect for its consumers through the mud just to pry some more money out of us. Imagine this for a second. You pre-order a $60 game. This game gave you an unfair weapon for doing so. Then, Day 1 DLC comes out. Then they add microtransactions. Is this not how a lot of AAA games have been doing things recently? Now I ask you to compare that to Rebirth. This game is priced at $14.99. To pre-order it, it went down to around $10. DLC came out months after, and those who pre-ordered it got nothing special other than they got to play the game the day it came out. This is sad that an indie developer has more respect for the industry than these AAA developers. And this industry is kept alive and thriving because we give in. The saddest thing is a lot of developers will come out and say, we need to put microtransactions in our games, otherwise we won't be able to make enough money to survive. Well maybe the reason you're losing money is because your consumers are tired of you doing things like adding microtransactions. Maybe instead of missing the wake up call, you should pick yourself up like a man and give your consumers a fair experience with fair gameplay for a fair price. Develop a game to develop a fan base. Don't try to force us, because we're too strong for you. We own you, sir. Let's move on to season passes. Now, to an extent, I can understand pre-orders. Given that they're done right, pre-orders have become pretty common. And unfortunately, it's not going away. And will probably just get worse. However, the season pass is easily one of the dumbest business practices I've ever seen, and it works. Let me put this into perspective here. Let's say I sold you a bike. I come to you and say, so in a few months, we're gonna be adding new features to this bike. 
If you want, you can pre-order those parts and we'll apply them for you the day they come out. Now as a responsible shopper you would ask, well what are these new features and when are they coming out? I'm sorry I have no idea. Oh, okay, I, I just wanted to make sure that this is something I need. Oh, you need it! The bike wouldn't be complete without it. Wait, but it's complete now. Yes, but it won't be soon. I don't even know if I'm going to be riding this bike in a few months. How do I know if I'll even like it enough to keep riding it? Well, there is a second option. After the parts come out, we can show them to you and you can decide from there. Yeah, I think I'd like to do that. Are you sure? Just $20 more and you can have them the day they come out. This is illogical. This would never work in a scenario like this. And yet, it works in the game industry. And I'm fine with developers making DLC for their games, especially if they really take the time and effort to add more to your experience. But asking me to pay more money for a game I don't even know I will like, a game that I don't even know if I'll continue playing a few months down the road, and for DLC, I don't even know if I'll want. But you look at how many people pay for season passes. It's just so impulsive. I couldn't see myself wasting money like that. I'd worry myself to sleep at night. I don't have any issues with anyone who pre-orders. I don't have a problem with anyone who buys season passes. What you do with your money is your business. But I love this industry. Playing video games is my number one hobby, and watching the industry go the way it is, it sucks. Every time a game comes out recently, I can't find myself getting hyped like I used to. The main focus used to be on the game, and now in every trailer, they have to have a price, they have to have pre-order bonuses, and they have to have an offer for a season pass. And I just thank God that we have indie devs. These kind-hearted game devs who simply want to make a good game, want people to enjoy their game, and could care less about how much they make. Sure, some indies have tried to milk us in the past, but where do you think they learned that from? I blame the parents. Before I end this video, I wanted to say two things. I remade my YouTube banner. It took me almost a whole day to do it, and I'm really proud of it, so if you guys are interested, please take a look and let me know what you think. Also, down below in the description, there's a new link to my Twitter account. I made a Twitter when I was 17, and I never used it, but I figured that it'd be a nice way of talking to you guys as a whole. Also, I posted a few videos on there that I think you guys will like. They're really short, but some of them are just for fun voice acting work. Please take 5 seconds out of your day to just go check that out. I spend a lot of time setting it up for you guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.